<laughs> hey everybody, it's Pam and Bill at Country Living Newbie Custom Decor. We're at our home here in beautiful Columbia, Tennessee. Looks like Bill's gonna give you a shot of our beautiful seven acres there. Some cows. We had to close the windows because the cows are <laughs> awful noisy. <laughs> and it's cold today, like 40s, ridiculous here. We're just a little bit south of Nashville. Um, and of course, our shop in Spring Hill, Tennessee, which is the next town over, has been closed because of the um, COVID-19 pandemic. And we're going to have a little, vid a little visitor <laughs> from our cat. We have our dogs, we have our dogs quarantined <laughs> so they don't come in and start making a racket. But um, so we're coming to you from just kind of a makeshift studio in our home, in our spare room. So hopefully um, the lighting's OK, the connection's OK, and uh, you'll be able to see what we're doing tonight. So we are super excited, and I have to say, a little bit nervous. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. We're gonna be using a new product. You guys are absolutely gonna love it. I just know it. Um, it's called <clears throat> Peace Prints. And um, you'll see some folks from Pre Peace Prints on the video, hopefully. Lori, um, Lori Carlson is on. Hey, Lori. Um, they'll be here to answer questions for you. I will do my best to answer your questions, but so you know, we have never done this before. Um, and this is one thing that we, we really enjoy doing, right? We, we do something for the first time and we do it live because we want you to know how difficult, how easy, um, what some of the mistakes are. Let us make the mistakes for you. Um, so we're going to do this for the first time. Uh, we did do a little tiny sample board, which I'll show you, but I don't think it um, probably compares to what we're going to be doing on this table. So uh, when you come on, please say hello, guys. Please share the video. Um, you know, let let's get this product out there. You may have been seeing it a little bit more and more um, with some of the ambassadors that you know and love from other companies um, using the product and um, talking about it and doing tutorials. So if you're on our video, our live, and you are a Peace Prince ambassador or Steve when you come on please let folks know who you are so they can go follow you and check your pages out and your tutorials and videos as well um Amy hey Amy <laughs> so Amy's on um I think everyone on here will probably know Amy um she's helped me a bit uh learn how to do this and we we had a little chat because <laughs> I was nervous <laughs> so she talked me through it um most of what I'll be going over I'll is really kind of regurgitating what I've learned from the ambassadors and from watching videos. So that's the best way to learn before you go do something, right? You go watch a thousand people do it, kind of see what they, um, uh, tips and tricks they have, and then you apply it to what you're doing. So I'll be regurging a lot. Um, there's gonna be lots of questions I probably don't know. So put those questions in the comments and we'll let one of the ambassadors um, answer that for you or we'll get you the answer um, if we don't know it at the time. Stacy Davis saying hi. Hey Stacy, thanks guys for joining. We haven't been on live in a while. Um, I don't know. I've been kind of in a little bit of a funk probably because of the whole virus thing. And but we're gonna get back in it. I had such a lovely uh, message from someone um, a couple days ago, and it kind of sparked me uh, to say, "Look, I need to get back on there." So um, and my camera work might not always be <laughs> as as good as it was prior to that. <laughs> We'll see how it goes. <laughs> we stand in our heads. All right, so this is the table that we're going to be doing. Isn't this adorable? It's got the glass top with the little handles on it. We've already painted it in Dixie Belle's kudzu green. Uh, it's just a nice soft pale green. And uh, we, we're going to be doing more. It's cute, too. A little brass feet, clawfoot um, table. It's, it's old. It's an antique table. Um, we sanded the top. After we painted it, we wanted it silky smooth. And the reason we did that was, again, just from listening to people's videos on the, um, the Peace Prince overlays, they are very thin. Do you have a question? Uh, maybe we should explain what Peace Prince is. Yeah. Let's do that. <laughs> so, <laughs> so Let's see, what are we talking about? <laughs> so this is an example of a Peace Prince. Hold it up because there's a bit of a glare. Perfect. And you guys might recognize, I have it upside down. That looks like Claude Monet. It is. One of his water lilies. So, Peace Prints are um, print overlays. They're not transfers. Um, they're not decals. They're not vinyl. <clears throat> um, 
I'm not sure that maybe Steve or someone can kind of talk a little bit about the material on there. I'll actually show you the material when we pull it back. But the beauty of this is you can go onto the Peace Prints website and you can select from their images that are on their website and you can get them in a variety of sizes. You can also send them your own image. So if you have, you know, your favorite pet, your favorite um, barn, you know, whatever picture you have, as long as it's not copyrighted, you can, and it's good quality, you can get that to them. They will make a print for you. So you can put it on furniture. Um, there's some tips and tricks to using canvas or um, uh, you can frame them. So there's all sorts of things you can do with them. Today we're gonna put it on furniture and we just went onto their website and picked the Monet. <clears throat> so that's how we got ours. And we just- Well, we had a reason why we picked it, didn't we? Because of the green? Because we'd already painted the table. Right. And I don't think when we painted the table, we were, we were planning to do this. I think that kind of came later. And, so, I, and I think when, you, when you're deciding what kind that you want for whatever piece you're, you're trying to put it on, uh, like if they have things with writing on it and they have things with the Eiffel Tower or something, like the Eiffel Tower wouldn't fit on that. So you kind of have to decide <laughs> what, because this was oval, we kind of needed something that blended, yeah, blended exact, all, yeah. Kind of, yeah. Yeah, it couldn't be where things were cut off and... You couldn't see them. And um, they were very nice and put the word top on the back for me. <laughs> so I knew which was the top. That's what I do <laughs> for you too. <laughs> he does that too. Of course, we're on an oval table. So it you know, probably doesn't matter too much in this instance. <laughs> but if it was up on a dresser, right, you would definitely want not to have your lilies falling out of the pond. So. So can I, like, because we also sell transfers and things like that. Mm -hmm. So these aren't translucent. I know the transfers that we use, they're kind of translucent, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. So these are definitely opaque. And one of the questions I had was, you know, do I need to paint underneath them? Am I going to see the color through them? Um, there, there is a reason to, to paint underneath them and we'll talk about that. Um, but you won't, you don't see through them. Okay. They're not, um, they're not transparent. So in the, in the packaging and they're very wonderful with the packaging, Super careful, it comes in a tube. And it was in this pretty tissue paper. Unless this was just for me. I mean, I don't know, maybe I just got special pack <laughs> I doubt it though. <laughs> so it came wrapped up um, in some tissue paper. Um, you know, they're, they're, they seem to be fairly delicate. Um, so just be careful. I, I try not to handle them, although I've been on the video a lot holding it up. Probably nerves more than anything. Um, you know, you want to get your, your oil, your, the oils from your hand all over it. They're a nice glossy finish. So, you know, you kind of want to preserve that, I would think. So it comes wrapped up in this um, tissue paper. Well, he even gave me a practice sheet, which I am practice on. <laughs> Whoopsie! <laughs> you, pract you practiced on the small ones. Yeah. yeah. So I also got um, a couple of these. So I started just with these two little ones. And... Uh, I put this on a, a piece of raw wood, right? Just a piece of plywood. The, the wood is very rough. So with your print, when you, when you, uh, you put your overlay on, it's going to, it seems, and you guys, please, if you're on, correct me if I'm wrong. It seems that it will take up the texture of whatever's underneath it. So if you want it to stay nice and smooth, you have to make sure you put it on a nice smooth surface. So what I did on this one was to show you how that works is I sanded smooth the bottom part of the board and I didn't sand the top part of the board. So you can see, and I'm going to let Bill hold it to get the angle, on the top part of the board near the rabbit's head, you're going to see some, some bumps and some texture from the wood. But where I sanded it smooth, the overlay is nice and smooth. So I think here you can see the bumps from the wood underneath and as we get down to where we sanded it those do not appear <laughs> hey really? guys we're home <laughs> deal with it <laughs> we got our little um alley cat here so we have a couple cats and a couple dogs we don't have little kids running around so okay so let's show you what the film looks like and i know we're we're anxious to get started and maybe i'm just putting it off a little bit too because I almost screw it up. <laughs> but I want to show you kind of from, you know, from our experience, from opening the package to getting it on, um, what we're learning. So 
when you take it off, you want to be careful. Uh, the first one that I took off, I, I kind of bent the edge a little bit, and then I had trouble getting it to lay flat. So you just want to be careful you don't, uh, you know, really kind of use your fingernail and flick it and, and bend it to get it off. Just kind of do it um, carefully. Guys have questions, put them in. Let us know where you're watching from too. We wanna to know what y'all are doing. All right. I'm gonna be careful here. And I can't see very well, so. <laughs> <laughs> hang on, <clears throat> hang on. This is like trying to get one of those plastic bags open at the grocery store. <laughs> All right, so if there's a trick to getting the end off, this would be the good, oh, here it is. Nope, that's my finger now. This would be a good time to, um, go ahead and throw that in the comments. <laughs> I can't get the end off. <laughs> Hang on. Put your hands down. You all grabby and trying to like get, give me that. I just want to do it right. <laughs> <laughs> I think the other one had like a little, oh, here it goes. Okay. Okay. So there's what they they look like. So you have your, your backing on it and then your actual um, overlay, which is tacky on the other side. So um, what I have learned through watching others and talking to others is if you put this down on a non-painted surface, say um, like a... a something with the varnish on it or um, a poly, you know, something like, like this, like a prefab piece of furniture. A cat? Like oh. a cat, yeah. It's don't apply a, to cats. Do not apply to cats. And no animals were hurt in the making of this, <laughs> this video. video. Maybe some frogs, I don't know. Um, if you apply it to that type of surface, it's going to stick uh, pretty, pretty quickly. Um, you won't be able to lift it up very easily, okay? So if you've misplaced it, you know, it might be harder to get up. So on a more porous surface, like uh, a coat of paint, you'll be able to place it down and lift it back up, okay? Not that you wanna do that over and over, but at least you had that option, okay? So that's why we decided to paint, the t or, uh, paint this and then lightly sand it to get it smooth. And now we have a surface that uh, is a little more easy to work with. The other thing, is you want to have um, some type of soft cloth, okay? You, you don't use like a tool, like y'all are used to um, transfers. Uh, you don't use anything like a tool to put this on. You're gonna lay it down and you're gonna use your soft cloth. These are the um, applicator pads from Dixie Bell. It's super soft to just kind of uh, spread it out as you go. That also avoids you putting your hands on it and getting the oils from your hands on. So no tools involved. You can use a soft cloth though, or something like this pad. Am I remembering correctly that these have like air channels in them? Yes. So Bill can be gurged too, you see. We can both throw up <laughs> on you guys. <laughs> so, um, and we're gonna find out, but I have seen and been told that the air bubbles are much easier to release from these type of prints because there are some channels in the back of the film and as you push out, the air is more easily released. So we're gonna... Yeah, if, if, if you've ever done window tinting or anything like uh. that, it is a nightmare to try <laughs> to get. If you, have a, if you have a bubble, ugh. Yeah. All right, so this one, um, Steve was nice enough to cut in an oval for me uh, and a little bit extra over the table, okay? Um, one thing you wanna make sure is once you put it down, and we're gonna show you. A little we're, closer. Here. We're gonna start at the top um, and just put a little bit down. And then we're gonna work our way down the rest of the, of the print. But before you start removing your backing all the way, you wanna make sure that your print is laying exactly the way you want it because you don't wanna get to the end. Like you think maybe you had it on straight because it matches the edge. And then you get down here and your print is off your piece. Do it over here. Yeah. So, I mean, you could think you're super lined up at the top, but the bottom could be going crooked. Okay. So you want to make sure after you get your print started, which we're going to do right now. 
I think I had trouble getting this one off too. And if someone, um, Amy or Steve, if someone wants to put the Peace Prints um, website in the comments so people can go check it out after this video, of course. <laughs> but let people know your website and... So, is it, I mean, I always have trouble getting this started. I'm so nervous, I don't want to, like, bend it. So, I, I'm not sure how fragile it is. Maybe in, it's, in this situation, it's probably not a big deal because it's on the it's edge be and it's over, deal. it's an overhang. Sure. So, so may as well just go for it? Yeah. Okay, because it's much thinner than you think. There yeah. it is. I think I'm thinking the print is thicker. All right. So, we're going to pull this off just about an inch. Flip it over, and we're going to just bend it and make a nice crease there. And it's round. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's how much we have. And we are going to start. I'm going to work upside down here for a minute. And I don't think I'm going to start this one right at the edge. But we want to put it down, and then we're going to make sure it's straight. And I'm already using my fingers. Sorry! Okay. And so I'm not getting bubbles there, I don't think. I think I'm getting maybe from the table. And before you rub it down, should you check to make sure it's straight? Okay. So now... Let's just press it all the way down. We're not hanging off. I mean, we're not short on any of the edges, right? So it's okay that we have extra because we're gonna take a nice sharp X-Acto blade and we're gonna go around the edge when we're done. So it's okay if we have some, some extra. So what do we think? I think it looks good. I think it looks good. <clears throat> Susie Smith says she needs one. Yes, you do, Susie. Go to Peace Prince website. So I, I don't know, is that an air, I don't think that's an air bubble. If it was an air bubble, I'm assuming when I do this, it would come out. I guess we can lift and look. I can't even see what you're talking, it must be in the light. In the, in the <clears throat> okay. All right, so now we are going to, and it, I'm going to try it myself, but Bill might have to come over and help pull this down. There's a pretty good chance I'll need to help. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'm pulling it down. Why don't I hold this up? And I'm going, well, they can't see then. They going can see. side to side. And I think we should start in the middle and go both ways. And then I'm going to pull down about another inch. Try leaving it down. Just so I I, I want to try to okay. see if I can do it myself. I'm big girl. Big girl. <laughs> <laughs> and then if I screw up, I can say, you didn't help me. I mean, so far it's going on super easy. I feel like it's bump, it's sticking up here, so maybe I should fold it more when I use do the crease. I don't know. But it's going on really easy. I'm going to go about another inch. Go to each side. So remember, guys, if you have a favorite picture, I think for artists, um, for artists, you know, to, to get an image of your artwork, or if you like a particular artist and you want an image of their work on a piece of furniture, how perfect would this be, right? We have a couple artists in our store that are amazing. And some of the stuff they do would be just so <clears throat> gosh darn pretty on a piece of furniture. This is going on so easy, guys. I'm going to start picking up the pace.
And I think like if you get nervous that you're not, because I don't think I'm pulling this down at the same rate. Let's just get it going again. Straight down. Yeah. Look how easy this is. Oh my gosh. Steve, why'd you make me so nervous before this? I guess just don't get overzealous, you know, I just keep going about an inch at a time. And it's, I mean, it's flat. There's like nothing. Now I can start being nervous about cutting it with the exacto <laughs> knife. <clears throat> Super smooth, guys. There's not a single air bubble, like, anywhere to be found. Steve says awesomeness. Awesomeness. No, you're awesomeness. This product is awesomeness. You guys need to try this. Don't be afraid. I was afraid. Steve had me so scared. I was up all night nervous. <laughs> you're up all night anyway. <laughs> That's true. I have restless legs and I'm just, yeah. All right, so I think... We are to the end. Oh my goodness, I love, love. I'm sure there's gonna be a use for that. Steve says, watch party started. Ooh, <laughs> now I'm really nervous, oh my God. All right, so let's just kind of do a little once over and I'm thinking I wanna get to the edge pretty good. Now, when you go to trim, you want to use a brand new blade, a nice sharp blade. Unless you're an expert, you trust yourself with a different blade. <clears throat> what about a sharp chainsaw? <laughs> that might work. Our pooches are starting to whine. That is gorgeous. I love this. Okay. So next... We're gonna need to cut in a little bit. Just, ugh. So we'll need to cut in. You may wanna use the sharp end. Which, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Safety first, I was just practicing my technique. Um, I'm gonna fold it, let's see. I don't wanna go too far. Oh, it cuts so easily. Like I was putting a lot of pressure and I, I didn't need like any pressure at all. Um, let's see here. If I were you, yes, I would extend the blade a little bit. Can you guys see? Let me see. See anything sharp and Bill just wants to take over. <laughs> you can't see because your hand is there. Thank you guys for joining us tonight. We're so happy you're here. Oh my gosh, you screwed it up. <laughs> Girl, get you a stiff drink and chill when this video's over. I got one before I started the video. So you're going at an angle. We well, can go back and- Blades work better at an angle. Because there's some like hanging over. Yeah, there's over. some that we may have to come back and trim a little bit more. <laughs> Kristen says, hi, Bill. Hey, Kristen. <laughs> okay. Guys, y'all are going to go try this. You need to go to peaceprints.com and pick from the selection on there. Always a fresh blade. You will never fail. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, this blade, it's going through like, like butter, huh? Yeah. Yeah. And for this piece... Oh, I guess I need to move the camera. <laughs> this is why Bill does the camera. As you as you move along, just slowly raise the blade. So it's it's always going in a direction that's Kristen, go cut. get you some. Peaceprints.com. And there's some sites out there where you can get um non-copyrighted photos. Or images. 
One thing you do have to worry about is going into the furniture. They're they're addicting. Yeah, um, I can see where this would be addicting, and I you know, I, honestly, I was a bit nervous at first, um, but but it's it's easy, guys. You saw how easy it was. We have never done this before. Let me pull you back a Where's little bit. Can you post where to go? Can someone put in the Peace Prince website? And if not, I can do it after the description. So, wow. <clears throat> Look how pretty. So, what's nice about this is it's protected by this glass. Um, we're going to go ahead and show you how to seal it tonight because we are going to put a sealer on top. You don't have to seal glass. Not the glass. Oh. But look how gorgeous the colors and everything. Ah. Now right. something we may, we may want to consider because this is a obviously a handmade piece. This doesn't fit exactly over the Ooh, bottom. Be I got screws sticking yeah. Out. So we may want to uh, do something on the edge. Not do something on the edge, but maybe cut it back just a little bit further than the edge. Yeah. Do you want to do that now, or should I just seal it? No, let's just. Okay. Let's just. What Bill was seal. saying, that oval top. Uh, I don't know if you could see it in the front, but in the back. This uh, this edge, this comes through a little bit, the piece prints, but it it's uh, man came out nice. So the yeah. table would be good even without the top. Yeah, I love it. Okay, Gorgeous. so um, and maybe someone can talk about ceiling. Like if you had this and you were doing it on a small cr a board that's gonna get hung on the wall. Um, I don't know. Would you even need to seal it? Uh, is it? Re do I have to seal it? Um, I'm going to seal it because it's on the top of the table. And frankly, the folks that I've seen doing them have sealed them when it's on furniture. So I'm going to go ahead and seal it. They're very glossy. So, you know, keep in mind, whatever sealer you put on is going to affect the, the sheen of the print. So um, if you don't want it as glossy, put a more matte um, clear coat over it. So we're going to use Dixie Bell Satin clear coat. The other thing to rem remember is if you, I, again, I think this is the table. Yeah, because they're not coming out. Yeah, I saw that over there too when you see it in yeah, the, I think in that's the light. Yeah, I think that's on the table. Um, you don't want to necessarily brush your clear coat on because on top of a glossy surface like this, you're probably going to see brush strokes, right? And you don't want to do that to the beautiful image. So um, one way to get away from that is to use a sponge. So this is Dixie Belle's blue sponge. And we're just going to put a little clear coat on it and we're just going to pounce. And it's going to look like it leaves like a textured kind of look, but once it dries, it levels out and it's, it's nice and smooth. Um, on that board we showed you in the beginning, that had a clear coat on it and you, you don't see any brush strokes. Um, it just looked really good. So we're going to give this a stir. So this is Dixie Bell Satin. It's um, a little like pudding, a little less than pudding consistency. Did I just flick some or did I spit? <laughs> I feel like I flick some. No, okay. Not on here you didn't. All right. So we're gonna put a little on a plate. Actually, let's bring this over. And I don't have the, my sponge damp. Um, normally, if I'm applying a top coat, I would dampen my sponge a little bit, but I'm not going to do that in this case. So I'm going to put some on, and I'm going to make sure I don't have a ton. So that's what I look like. And we're going to just kind of pounce it on over the edge. <clears throat> Question was, can th these be painted? Can they be painted, like on, can you paint on top of them? Is that the question? Yes. Well, they're very, I mean. I think Amy answered that. Okay. Because I, I think I saw Amy do some painting over the edge. <clears throat> she can't, you can paint, she says, but you will see the edge because it's a raised edge. And here's a, this is a very good point. <clears throat> they cannot be sanded. Good point. Yeah. Like if you want, with some of the transfers, you can. What do you call it? Like, like feather, feather the edge yeah. a little bit with the transfer. You can't do that here. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, my, hopefully I'm doing this. I only did like a small piece before. Um, so it only took like three pounces. 
<laughs> so hopefully I'm not putting too much on here. And I'm just making sure I'm over the edge. I, I, you know, I don't know if you don't seal it, are, are you pretty secure <clears throat> with the edges uh, staying down? I don't know the answer to that. Susie asks, can you use gator hide? And I think that was answered earlier. <clears throat> um, any of the top coats, I guess you can use. Okay. You and your gator hide, Susie. Susie Q. <laughs> Are you at work, Susie? We are so glad to be back on, guys, and that you're with us tonight. Thank you very much. We've been busy in our shop. If you don't follow us um, on Facebook, we're um, at Country Living Newbie. We're doing a lot of customs right now. Bill's a carpenter, and we've we've been working together in the shop. <laughs> I'm his little helper. <laughs> I think there's a spot here it looks like you may have missed right in there so i think what might be happening is i'm dragging the sponge and not realizing it and i'm taking off like what i put on i think that's because i almost <coughs> saw the swirl of the sponge so i think you just want to make sure you're going up and down and just put your fingers in these grooves right that'll keep you kind of on the straight and narrow with pouncing anyway. I know many of you are not on the straight and narrow <laughs> all the time. <laughs> but we um we have a YouTube channel too, guys, and we're going to start putting our videos on YouTube. So we have quite a few of them loaded there. They're not super edited and <laughs> like, like most, but we're getting there. Susie says, that's all I buy from you. And yes, she is at work. <laughs> <clears throat> Stacey Davis says that bar was awesome. Oh, wasn't that awesome? Good. Well, you just said it was awesome, so yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. That was for um, a local business who, God bless them, you know, they're trying to get open, but the uh, Columbia uh, factory, in, what's it? Um, the factory at Columbia, factory Columbia it's in an yeah. antique mall, hasn't gotten open yet. But they're going to be a botanical bar. <clears throat> You get to drink plants. All right. Whew. How we look? How we look? <laughs> Wait, look good me. to me. <laughs> Pretty soon we'll be like, um, got your gray roots. Got to get these salons open. I'm just going around the edge again. So eventually um, we're going to go ahead and glaze. And I, I started doing it somewhere. Um, down here a little bit. We're going to put some Dixie Bells Van Dyke glaze uh, in these um, grooves. But I think we're only going to need one. <clears throat> so do you need to use the sponge or can you use a brush? I think with the brush you're going to get brush strokes. Yeah. So with this, while right now it looks like kind of textured, once it dried it was completely smooth. Here, let me show you again. So this, both of these have a clear coat over them, but you can't, you can't see it at all, right? And I did the same thing with the pouncing. So I guess, you know, for lack of a better term, or maybe it's the right term, it kind of self levels and it smooths out. So we did it. Woo. That was fun guys. So you check these out. I mean, go onto the site. I know um, Amy and I think Dustin ha have a line on there. You can uh, check out their lines and then there's other designs. Go to, um, Amy, what's the one? Pick, pick a bay. Well, there's, a place, there's other sites you can go to that have non-copyrighted images. So if you find an image you like there, you can um, get it to piece prints, tell them the size you want. So you can put it you know, right on your piece. If you have an inlay on a buffet or something, you can put it right there. They'll um, they'll cut it to size for you. And uh, that's it, I guess. If you guys have any other questions, throw them in the comments. We'll try to answer it from a first-timer's perspective. Um, and if we can't answer it, we'll get one of the ambassadors to kind of jump on and, um, and help out there. But 
I don't know. I'm impressed. I love it, guys. Um, we'll see you hopefully in a couple days. Um, again, go go check our page out if you're new to us and our YouTube and our Instagram and all that fun stuff. And we will see you all real soon. Stay safe. Stay healthy. We'll see you soon.